This is a coup. This is rich people funding bad science to put a sleeper in the White House. A presidential campaign is underway in the Manchurian candidate, and there are disturbing events going on in the back room. Liev Schreiber is a war hero whose ambitious mother bulldozes him into the number two spot on the ticket. And we can either shovel them the same old sugar, or we can arm them. We can arm them with a young, vibrant vice president. We can give them heat, energy, give them a war hero with heart. Meryl Streep is chilling as the candidate's ruthless mother. She's a senator who will go to any lengths to get her son into the White House. Congressman Shaw served in Kuwait and saved his fellow soldiers during an ambush. Or did he? Denzel Washington is Major Marco, part of the mission, and he's having nightmares about what really happened. Somebody got into our heads. Neurons got, got, got exposed and circuits got rewired. The release of the film, which climaxes at a political convention, clearly coincides with the Democratic convention this week. It makes timely implications about corporate influence on the White House, on terrorism, and on war. The late great director John Frankenheimer's original version came out in 1962. His classic has just as much edge and cynical perception now as it did back then. This is a masterpiece with an extraordinary performance by Frank Sinatra in the role played this time by Washington. The current filmmakers include director Jonathan Demme and producer Tina Sinatra. They wisely give this version a different take on the plot and make casting choices that won't have you constantly thinking about the original. I don't think they factored you in. The original Manchurian Candidate has more mystery with heightened suspense and danger that are hard to match, but this version works well as a thriller, and it did keep me guessing at the end. The performances are very strong. Denzel is convincingly obsessed, and Meryl Streep's possessive mother is as scary in her own way as Angela Lansbury was in the first movie. I give the remake of The Manchurian Candidate three stars, and I'm Roger Ebert, ABC 7 News. Hello, Captain. Do you remember me?